Hello everyone, our today's question is, if a quadrilateral is inscribed in a parabola, y square is equal to 4ax, and three of its side passes through the fixed point on the axis, it's given on the axis. Now show that the fourth side also passes through a fixed point on the axis of the parabola. So let's start with the parabola, y square is equal to 4ax. y axis, x axis, and this is, let's say this is our parabola, y square is equal to 4ax. Now here I'm going to select four points. Let's say the first point is P point and let's say its parametric coordinate is T1 here. Similarly, Q point is T2. R, one more point we can take here. R, that is T3. And S, we can take somewhere here. That is T4. If we connect these points, we'll get a, our chord little with the four sides. PQ, QR, RS, and PS here. Now, they are saying that three of the sides are passing through the fixed point on the axis. Now, we need to select the points from our side. So, let's say the first side, PS. If I extend the PS, this side of the quadrilateral, it is passing through a fixed point on the axis and axis is x-axis. So, let's say point is A1, 0. I'm taking from my side. Given that, I'm considering this point as constant. Now, if you connect the second side, that is PQ, PQ is passing through A2, 0 here. Similarly, RS, if you extend, then RS will be something like this and it is cutting on the axis at A3, 0 and that too I am considering these three values are fixed. Now after this conditions and we need to prove that the fourth side that is RS is passing through a fixed point on the axis that is A4, 0. So this is our objective we need to prove A4 is a constant and as well as we can calculate the A4 also. So first I am going to start with the equation of the chords or you can say sides of the chord little. So equation of chord. So equation of the chords is uh, let's start with the side PS. <clears throat> or we can start with PQ is easy. So equation of the sides PQ is y is equal to x upon t1 plus t2 divided by 2 plus a t1 t2 divided by t1 plus t2 divided by 2 here. Now this PQ chord is passing through the fixed point and as I can say the fixed point is a2 comma 0 it's given and I have taken this a2 comma 0 so if it's passing through a2 comma 0 I'm going to substitute here immediately we'll get this as t1 t2 t1 t2 will be equal to uh, minus a2 upon a here so this is for the chord p a p q here and it is passing through a2 comma 0 the fixed point in the same way, if I write the equation of the chord QR and you can say PS, in the same way I can write the same result. So let's write the result for uh, next chord that is QR. So if I connect QR, QR is connected with T2 and T3. So immediately we'll get the product T2, T3 here that will be equal to it's passing through minus A3 from upon A. Similarly, fourth, fourth chord I can write easily here for the fourth chord that is PS. So PS is passing through t1 and t4 so t1 t4 will be equal to minus a1 divided by a here now one more chord is remaining that we need to prove that is rs so for the chord rs is made of t3 t4 so t3 t4 will be equal to minus a4 divided by a now we need to prove that this a4 is a constant so in the next page i'm going to do that now previously we got t3 t4 is equal to minus a4 upon a our objective was to prove a4 is a constant value because the moment we prove a4 is a constant value we have proved that the four side of the chord little is passing through the fixed point on the axis so it's just a little manipulation i'm going to do i'm going to write a4 as minus a times t3 t4 and using this three result i'm going to manipulate so a4 will be equal to minus a times outside now t3 t4 i'm going to write in a little way that is i'm going to write this as t1 multiplied by t4 we here we have relation so t1 t4 multiplied by one more uh, term i'm going to introduce here with t3 that is t2 t3 so t2 t3 and whole thing divided by i'm going to divide in such a way that again we'll get this value that is t3 t4 so i'm going to divide by t1 t2 and we have this relation here so from here a4 will be equal to minus a times now i'm going to substitute all the values so t1 t4 value is minus a1 upon a here multiplied by the value of t2 t3 is minus a3 upon a 
and the last value is I think minus a2 upon a. So I think these are the values and here this a and a will cancel out this a and a will cancel out. Now all in all we have four negatives so they'll cancel out each other. All we have is a1 a3 upon a2. So from here we, the value of a4 we got is a1 a3 upon a4 sorry a2. So this is the value of a4. Since we have considered a1 a3 a2 as a constant similarly a4 will be also a constant because all these values are constant here. So we have proved a4 is a constant and that will be all.